Welcome to Center, Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we want to prove that the quotient of a group with its center is isomorphic to its group of inner automorphisms. And uh, so the center is just all elements of, uh, of G, X, such that AX equals XA for any A member of G. Inner automorphisms are all the functions saying G to itself of the form A, X, inverse A. Uh, so to do this, we're going to make use of the first isomorphism theory, which, is, which says that uh, uh, a homomorph homomorphism from a group to its image, uh, the group, the quotient of the group with its kernel is isomorphic to its image in this homomorphism. We're going to establish a homomorphism from uh, G to its inner automorphisms. Uh, So for every A, uh, we're going to send A to F of A, where F of A is the inner automorphism of the form. So F of A of X is A, X, A minus 1. So uh, this is an automorphism. And, uh, so, and we're, the inner automorphisms, we're going to make them a group under composition. So. So uh, under composition, we can do f of a uh, composition of, with f of b it gives us a b. So really, we're taking x of f of a of x and replacing it with f of b, which is b x b minus inverse of b, which is equivalent writing a b inverse uh, a inverse as a b inverse. This is equivalent to just uh, f a b x. Uh, this will actually sh uh, show that. Our uh, mapping from G to its inner automorphisms is a homomorphism because uh, so uh, the A the B equals uh, F A composition F B, which we just saw is equal to F A B, which is just our mapping of A, B. So our mapping is a homomorphism. And now, and also our mapping is uh, onto, because uh, all our inner, we get to any, any inner homomorphism by just going through all the elements of G. Uh, now let's look at the kernel of this mapping. So we want to look at all the elements uh, sending elements of G to uh, the, the unit element of our group of inner automorphisms. But this uh, unit element is really just uh, all the inner automorphisms uh, based off the, the center of our group. And we can see this because we want So we want f of a of x to give us back x. So this is the same as a x m a inverse equals x, which is the same as ax equals xa. And this is exactly, uh, and f for all x member g, and this is exactly the center of g. So uh, any element, the center of g is our kernel of our mapping. Uh, so we take the quotient, uh, quotient of our, of our group g with, with the kernel, which is just the center, and we, that's isomorphic to our image, which is uh, all, all of, uh, yeah, which is all of uh, uh, the inner automorphisms. And so summing it all, all up, we can say, so yeah, G, uh, quotient of G with its center is isomorphic to its group of inner automorphisms, as we see via this mapping we constructed. And that solves our problem. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out our website, centermath.org. Check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.